All right, welcome back to another relearning Angular video. In this series, we've been doing just that, relearning Angular. It's something I wanted to do. Uh, I've learned Angular in the past. I wanted to relearn it, and I thought this would be good for people wanting to do the same thing or even just learn it from scratch. We're going from the very basics to hopefully more advanced topics in the future. And if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. I really would appreciate it. You guys have been killing it. And uh, it means the world to me. And today we're going to start talking about event binding. And particularly, we're going to implement the click event in our Angular app. So if I click on something, I want something to happen. That's a pretty common uh, thing that you'd want to happen in your app, right? And then hopefully we'll get into other events after this. But this is going to be a pretty quick and straightforward video. But I think you'll find it useful nonetheless. So... Uh, let's go check out our app. Here is the homepage. As you remember it from the last video, we have the movie genres. And I'm going to add a button somewhere up here. Just temporary. We're not going to keep it there just for the sake of this video. And also, I'm going to, in VS Code, just close all of these because it's starting to take up a lot of tabs. So let's go to the app component. And I'm going to temporarily put a button right here. So button, and we'll give it a few bootstrap classes to make it at least look a little pretty. So BTN and then BTN, uh, is it alert or danger, I think is the red one. I want a red button. And the text of this button is just going to say, click me, exclamation point. All right. And as you would expect, if we click this button, nothing's going to happen, right? We didn't define anything to happen. And the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the TypeScript of this particular component. So the app component TypeScript, we're going to go to the app component class. We're finally going to create a method here. And I'm just going to call this uh, show message. And it's not going to take anything. And it's also not going to return anything. It's just going to be returning void. So the code of this method is we're just going to run the JavaScript alert and say, whoa, you clicked me. Pretty simple, I suppose. So this is the method that we want to run whenever someone clicks on that button. So let's remember this. I'm actually going to copy this so I don't have to come back because I know I'll forget by then. And then inside of this opening tag, uh, the event binding goes like this. This is the syntax. So we're going to put open and close parentheses, and the name of the event is going to go inside of this. So in our case, this is a click event, so the name of that is just click. And then we say equals, and inside of quotes, we're going to put the method that is going to be run whenever that's clicked, and then open and close parentheses. Just like this. So the method and the event type. And now if I go back and I click on this button, we get that alert. We say, well, you click me. Hopefully you can see that it's kind of small. But let's take it a step further. Let's pass something. And I'm going to pass the string test. And let's go back to the TypeScript. I'm going to put message of type string. And the alert is just going to be message just like this. You notice to recompile down there. So let's try this out again. And now that test value is passed and it's passed to the alert. Here we go. We see test in the alert. So that is the click event. You can do this. Feel free to create a button if you're following along in your own app and try this out. I think the alert is the easiest thing to see if it's doing this correctly. Something else you can do is console dot log and just say uh, I clicked on the button or maybe log what the message is and if we go to F12 we hit F12 on our keyboard and I go to click this button in the console here we see that message I clicked on the button so either console.log or alert are two of the easiest ways to see that your click event is running and then you can go and then feel free to uh, once you're comfortable write the real code that you want to run. So that's a click event. Pretty simple. Feel free to try it on your own, and I hope to see you in the next video.